In this video I'm going to show you how to find Pearson's R, or rather the cor correlation coefficient, using a sharp EL531WH calculator. And before we do it on the calculator we'll very quickly review the theory. So the formula for one of the definitions of Pearson's R is this here, where N is your number of samples, this is a summation, so you're summing up these two things multiplied by each other. This is your x data, this is your y data. So here you've got any, the i points, so just like x1, x2, x3. So you pick one of your x data points, subtract it from the mean, and divide by the standard deviation of your x points. Same thing for y, so any y point subtracted by it, the average of all of the y data points divided by the standard deviation of all of the y data. And what does this give you? This gives you a value of r that tells you how correlated data is. If you've got r equals minus 1, it suggests it's perfectly correlated in that all of the points lie on a line and the line is sloping down the way. r equal to 1, same idea but sloping up the way, all of them on the same line, perfect correlation. We've got r is greater than 0 and less than 1. It's going to be going up the way because it's po positive between 0 and 1. It's always going to be positive in that range. And to some degree, there's a correlation. The closer to 1, the better the correlation. And if you have r equals to 0, that means that there is no correlation between the data and it is completely random. So let's take what we've learned here and do an example. So I've got an example here. So we're going to find R for this data set. We've got 1, 2, 3, and then 2, 4, and 6. So you'll probably notice that if we take the X value and double it, we get the Y. So this clearly means that we've got a straight line Y equals 2X, and all of these points are going to fit on the line Y equals 2X. So if all of the points are on a line that's sloping up the way, we're going to get this situation here, so we know that R is going to be 1. I've picked this example so that we know what the answer is going to be before we do it, so we're not relying on the calculator. So let's go down here. So the first step is to change the calculator into the correct mode. So we want to go mode, and then we want to put in stat mode, and we're entering two sets of data. There's X values and Y values, so we're wanting 1. So do mode 1, 1 gets you in the correct mode. So this is mode stat 1, unsurprisingly. Second thing we need to do is we need to enter our data. That's how you enter the data there. So we're using the comma, which lets us in input X and Y data. So we've got two columns. So to enter the 1 and the 2 here, what you're doing is you're pressing 1, and then second function, and the STO button gets you a comma, and then two. And if you press the equals button, you get an error. Don't do that. Press the M plus button. Your M plus button is saving it to the memory. And this data set counter keeps track of the things you've put in. And it's quite useful with large data sets. If you had 62 data points, and you'd finished entering them, but this only said 61, this is suggesting you've made an error somewhere. So this can prevent you from making mistakes. So let's enter the rest of the data. So we're doing two, second function, STO, four, M plus to save. Same thing for three and six. So three, second function, STO gets the comma, six, and M plus to save. Now we have three things in our data set which corresponds to these rows here. And the final step is to actually do the calculation and You'll notice there's various um, green letters on your calculator written above numbers and some of these multiplication and division buttons. You can access these using the alpha function. Almost all of the statistical calculations at some point involve the alpha button. So we're doing alpha and then pressing the divide button. That gets us R here and just press equals and it calculates it and we get R equals 1 just as we expected. So that's how you calculate Pearson's R using your calculator. Thank you for watching.